need to, de to develop a solution for remote and real-time stations diagnosis to reduce the downtime. This is the first, first screen of the tool we call Monitor ISOs. This dashboard was created on Grafana environment. We have two pictures of map of Brazil for CAMS station on the left and youth stations on the right. The green dots are the online stations and red dots the offline ones. This is also showing numbers on the top right. On the top left, we have buttons which access some other features. But before we go any deeper in the tool, let me talk a bit about the de development process. First of all, we start by identifying the relevant information to monitor and where it is stored on the computer to collect the data. After that, we define the, the open source technologies we will use to start writing the code. We wrote a Python script which is installed in the stations through an executable file. This script collects data from time to time and sends it to our server which in turn process and stores the data in an SQL database. Here we have an overview of all data collected from UFO and CAMS stations. Some characteristics observed are station ID and operator, capture information, number of stars for, for a calibrated mask, complete location of the station with azimuth and field of view, computer information like CPU and memory usage and hard drive storage. The data is synchronized in real time, sending alerts in case of unconformity. And we can make inquiries through the dashboard or through a chat with a chat boot on Telegram platform. Now let's see what happened when you select a station. In this slide, we show an example of CAMS dashboard. On left side, we have the related, the data related to the station and its video capture. On the top right, we have the weather map with clowns and the station's position. Bottom, a panel with color alert regarding the video capture status. And on the bottom left, we have timeline plots of CPU and run usage and hard drive storage. The monitor users tool also helps to the standardization of operation between all stations in the network. Sometimes because of the delay in sending the capture analysis, we end up creating an internal obstacle to conduct orbits and bullets studies. In the top center, we have a button to generate a .kml file. We need for the, the KML, KML file, the azimuth elevation, and other parameters from the field of view. And then we, uh, we can use these files to plot uh, the stations on the Google Maps. It's easy to see if a station has a pair and how much of the sky is being covered. This way, we can use the tool to improve our network performance. Here we can see an example with three stations, each one in a different color and the amount of sky they are covering. Finally, we have the statistic analysis dashboard to easily get the data to make studies and comparisons regarding shower intensity, variation between the years and other relevant studies. All data is available in a direct and transparent way. This is an example of the statistic dashboard for UFO. As we are using UFO for a, a long time, we have more data. We can select year, month, and stations, all or just a specific one to show the information regarding number of captures and number of analysis. A summary of the main benefits. First, the Grafana dashboard is a powerful, friendly, and intuitive interface. We can easily create fields and automatically change its color as a visual alert. Second, anyone in anywhere can get status for any station just asking our chatbot on Telegram. Third, we have an easy to access and auto-filled network station databases. 
it's important for managing network and act where you need it, when you need it. The next steps are to automate as many tasks and function as possible and improve the pairing through the .kml files and Google Earth view. Now, the, the last slide. Thank you very much for your time. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you are welcome to email us. The group email is exus at exus.org. The developer email is Giovanni underline Racingo at live.com. And my personal email is guilherme.imagino3d.com.br. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. At least one real clap, plus the virtual ones. You were very quick, still two and a half minutes.